Mike's Music Method. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is um, FAQ or uh, FJ's questions answered number three. Often people will ask or not know whether or not they should learn to read music. Should I learn to read music? I am a terrible sight reader. I did learn to read music. I minored in music in school, so I didn't learn until I was... Well, I take that back. So I, I learned young, but not really. And then I kind of learned properly in college, but never got good at it, and I'm still not very good at it. But I do highly, highly, highly recommend any guitarist out there to pick up a very beginner sight reading book. And it's not because I want you to start sight reading guitar music. But the fundamentals of, of just grasping the basic language of it. So the book I recommend, and you can get any one, but this is the one that I recommend. It's um, Hal Leonard, right? The big publishing company puts out Guitar Method, book one. And what it's going to do is take you through the first position on the guitar. And maybe if you liked it, if you like it, do book two. And this will take you no more than a year. I mean, if you're really motivated, you could tackle this book in like three months, probably both books in half a year. And not even as like a main thing of practice, even if you're doing, you know, 10 minutes on most days, right? So what, all that it's gonna do is take you through first position, which is, I'm holding my camera, but you get the idea. It's open E, F, G, then the next string, A, B, C, D, E, F, open G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And it's going to, you're just going to learn the very basics of the language of music. You'll learn where the notes on the, are on the guitar. You'll learn that the notes B and E don't have a sharp. And it's not because they sound different, but it's all this stuff is named after piano music. I had a great teacher in, in college once, and he told me, he said, Mike, just remember that music theory was invented by keyboard players to make all other musicians feel inferior. And there's a lot of truth to that because it's intuitive on the piano, but music theory and notes are not intuitive on the guitar. Tab is. And don't feel like you're a being a sucker or like you're, you're copping out because I believe, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but like very, very old music on the lute tab existed before proper music notation did. <laughs> so when you're when you're learning guitar using tab, you can tell everyone that you're you're actually being historical. You're you're doing the older, more ancient traditional method than they are. But but again, so the reason I, I'm getting lost in my own stories, the reason I recommend learning from those books and learning the very basics of notes is I can't guarantee you it's gonna make you a better player. I think it will. But even if it doesn't, what's almost more important in that is that I find it to be really enjoyable, kind of like learning a new language, right? To get deep in it can be very difficult and a very long journey. Same with sight reading well, and I'm not saying to go do that. But just learning like how to say hello, right? Hola, como estas? Like those, that little bit goes a long way in life if you're traveling or meet someone from a different culture. And I feel like the same thing with learning some of these notes in first position. Because you'll get an understanding of like what a half step is, what a whole step, where these notes are. And then very easily, I did another video. I think it's called, I think it's called uh, Finding Every Note on the Guitar or something dumb like that. I'll link up here if I remember. But so let's say I have a G here. I know this is a G because I learned it in my book, right? Third fret on that string. Now, if you memorize that first position, right? All the notes of the first three frets. If that's a G, I know the simple rule of like, Two frets higher, two strings higher is another G. Then if I go from there, it's two strings and three frets. G, 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 G. Then from there I go down. G, 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 G. I'm not gonna explain it all, but you can find all the Gs. And that is very helpful. So having that initial framework is great. Not only that, but then you can begin to understand chord theory, right? Like playing arpeggios is super important as a guitar player. It's gonna improve your songwriting your, your soloing, your, your ability to improvise with people. And if you can understand like, oh, when I play a C chord, it's just C, E, G, then another C, another E. So now you know a C chord is just C, E, and G. And now can you find those other notes on the guitar neck? In this way, you're not only building shapes, but you're also like building your, your fundamental understanding of what a chord is. And then if you ever do want to get into jazz, oh, well, now I all, know all my major and minor chords. What's a diminished? What's a seventh chord? 
What's the augmented? What's a flat five? And that's a very, very tall hill to climb and a steep hill to climb if you don't even know how to, how to read a couple notes. <laughs> so in my opinion, I think it is going to make you a better guitar player. But more importantly, it, it's fun. It's a fun little journey. Um, learning notes can kind of be like a Sudoku thing or a... I don't know. I don't want to say... I don't like when people say music. Oh, if you're good at math, you're good at music. I completely disagree with that statement. Um, when I play music, I don't think of math at all. Like for me, I'm memorizing a pattern. And sure, when I first learned that pattern, I learned that you had to count numbers. But I promise you, when I'm playing music, I am never doing math. I don't find it to be math-like at all. <laughs> um, but I I'm going to be redundant now. I think it's worth it. Get a very basic guitar book. Like I said, I re recommend that Hal Leonard Guitar Method Book 1. But basically, any book... Uh, that's going to walk you through the beginning of sight reading, I think will make your playing uh, that much better. And it's just another aspect of the journey that I think is going to be fun for you. And go slow. You don't have to learn a lot. Just spend five or ten minutes a day in that book. And if you ever do want to learn theory or chord theory or jazz or composition, like I, I'm hesitant. I want to do all this composition stuff on this channel because I love songwriting. But my fear is that not that many people know how to read notes. And so I feel like I'm going to lose a lot of the audience. But even if, if you have this basic understanding of first position on the guitar, like I explained, then it won't be, you might not grasp it, but it's not going to be totally foreign to you. You're going to go, oh, I think I get what he's talking about. Let me check out another YouTube video or find some resource online where I can piece these um, puzzle pieces together. But if you don't even know the first position and you haven't done any sight reading at all, then you're just like not there's no way I can convey these songwriting techniques to you because we don't have a common language to express it if you if you don't know how to read notes or don't even know where the notes are on the guitar. So that is my two cents on sight reading. I think everyone should do the bare minimum and then it's up to you if you enjoy it, take it from there or if you're going to be in some kind of um, business setting, right? Playing weddings or gigs or something. Well, then of course you sight read for the gig but at least do the bare minimum. All right. God bless. See you guys soon. Let me know if I missed anything or if you have any thoughts or questions, always comment below. And short pitch, if you're getting value from this channel, please chip in some coin so I can spend more time on making these videos. Ciao, y'all. Bye-bye.